Hi guys, so it is exam season and I know that the one thing that people suffer from the most during exam season especially is procrastination. Procrastination is a habit which is really really difficult to break especially when you're under a lot of stress from exams or assignments or anything else that's going on so now really isn't the time to stop procrastinating. I had a look on YouTube and Google to find out ways to procrastinate productively to use this habit that we've already formed and I couldn't find many at all really. I found loads of videos and blogs on how to stop procrastinating but Right now, that's not what you need. You're already gonna procrastinate. We just need to make sure you do it in the best way possible. So let's make the most of your procrastination. We all procrastinate and I do it as much as the next person. So these are 10 things that you can do while you're procrastinating to make it a productive time. First thing you can do is write a letter or call or just talk to someone that's in your house or near you. Just having that human contact will really make you feel a lot better and make you feel a lot productive um, when you do get back to work. Also communicating with people strengthens that relationship so you've got that um, support network for when you do need some, some loving. It could also be that you've been putting off writing that letter to your grandma for ages and now is the time to just sit down and do it when you're in a break from your work. Second thing I've got is to write a to-do list. Now this doesn't really seem like procrastination as such, it seems like part of the work, but I know from experience I love to-do lists and I will spend ages writing one, writing the times, colouring it in, highlighting, so that kind of is procrastination for me. But to make sure you do it productively, um, you can do that in your little break and that is your break and then you will get on with the work that you've written down on your to-do list. It will help you break it up, make it more manageable and make it seem like a less daunting task. So the next way that you can productively use your procrastination time is to do some exercise. This doesn't have to be like a full-on gym session, it can just be a nice walk or a run if you're into that, or I prefer to do some yoga or maybe some meditation. Anything that gets you moving and gets you away from your desk and away from your work to help calm you down and distract you. Also exercise releases endorphins which makes you feel happier so that's going to make you feel more productive as well. Next one I have is to do some cleaning. Um, this can be around your workspace like your desk sort of uncluttering it or it can be in a completely different room to give you a change of scenery. You can clean your kitchen or bathroom or something. I really love cleaning. That's my favourite way of procrastinating I think just because I feel like I've accomplished something yet I've also had a little break from my work so I feel like I can then continue afterwards. Next tip I have, this doesn't work for everyone, is to have a power nap. Have these naps is for 20 minutes, that gives you enough time to get to sleep, have a sleep and come back out of that restful time. So set yourself an alarm for 20 minutes and then have a little snooze. You don't have to completely fall asleep but just having 20 minutes of restful time will still be really beneficial for you. Again this doesn't work for everyone, some people don't like napping but I love it. Next tip I have is to watch the news or a TED talk. You might think that this would clutter your brain up with more information that you're not studying for but having a look at something else or catching up on the world news will sort of distract you a bit. It's still relevant for you to know because sort of you get to know the world around you and it sort of gives you a little break. Instead of watching some rubbish on TV, watch the news or a TED talk or a documentary or something and then that will keep your brain activated and you'll still be in the right frame of mind to learn but you'll be taking a little break from the work that you've been studying. Next one I have is a really good one is to get those little jobs out the way, those little annoying jobs like booking a dentist appointment, calling your mum, you feel like you don't have time for them or they're not as important as your work but when you're having that, that little break time um, that is the perfect time to do them. It's more productive to get those little jobs out of the way than it is to sit for an hour on Facebook or something. So that is an optimal time and because you'll be so bored and tired of doing your studying, these will seem like much less boring tasks than they really are. Next one I have is to take a shower or pamper yourself. Just to make yourself feel better, you'll feel refreshed, you'll feel in a better frame of mind and just paying some attention to yourself will make you feel a whole lot better. I know when I'm revising I spend the whole day in my onesie with my hair scraped back, no makeup on, so just to put some moisturiser on my face makes a whole lot of difference and just makes me feel so much more refreshed. So tip number nine is to cook. 
you always need to eat, so why not cook now in your procrastination time? Um, you can either cook for your lunch right now or whatever meal it is, or you can make your food for the week and freeze them. That's a productive way to use that time that you would otherwise be wasting. Now finally, I know it can be irresistible to go on that social media. I know I can't resist a scroll through Twitter or some YouTube videos. So when you do feel like you need to go on some social media, set yourself a timer half an hour, an hour, depending how your work schedule's going um, and make sure you stick to it so you don't spend three hours scrolling through Twitter and wonder where the time's gone. So those are my 10 tips to procrastinate productively, that's difficult to say. Um, I actually have an exam in two days and this is my way of productively procrastinating. It's something that I needed to do, I needed to film a video so why not do it in a productive procrastinating way. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you find these tips useful and actually put some into use. Let me know what your favourite way to procrastinate is in the comments below and good luck in your exams or assignments if you have any or just have a wonderful week if you're not in education or anything that requires exams. And I will see you in my next video guys. Bye!